Hi, this is John for RevMedics. Today we are going to discuss the key components and how to use the TX2 ratcheting tourniquet. The TX2 tourniquet is TCCC recommended and has an NSN number assigned. The key components of the TX2 are a 2 inch mil spec webbing that is UV treated, a space is provided at the tail of the webbing to record the time the tourniquet was applied. The webbing comes pre routed through two steel rings which are black and green. The green ring on the bottom is slightly smaller to provide a better bite and ensure it never slips. The thumb loop provides a counter pull when tightening the webbing. This loop can also be used as a bite loop when self applying to your arm. The ratchet and ladder are attached by steel grommets through the webbing and internal stability plate. The ladder passes through the ratchet assembly and is tightened by lifting the lever arm on the top of the ratchet which moves the ladder and auto locks with every rotation of the lever arm. People always ask me, what's the difference between a ratcheting tourniquet and a windlass tourniquet? Both tourniquets work, but windlass tourniquets have two distinct design flaws. All windlass tourniquets are single use, meaning if you buy just one, you cannot train with the tourniquet you're carrying without the risk of failure when you really need it. You must buy an additional training tourniquet to establish muscle memory and become proficient. This is due to the windlass tightening process, which relies on turning a rod which twists the attached nylon in a circle to tighten. The rod is then placed in a clip to hold it in place. Nylon webbing was never designed to be twisted in this manner. It causes the nylon fibers to shear and weaken with only one use. TX2 is designed for straight line pull which does not stress the nylon. This allows you to train with the same tourniquet you are carrying. Frequent training with your tourniquet establishes muscle memory making tourniquet applications second nature. If rebleeding occurs on the limb, a windlass rod must be rotated 180 degrees and resecured in its clip. This can cause tremendous pain to the casualty as well as potential tissue and nerve damage from over tightening. TX2 has the capability to incrementally tighten by lifting the lever arm just one click at a time. This allows you to dial in just enough extra pressure to stop the rebleed. The release tab sits flush with the lever arm to prevent accidental opening of the ratchet during transport. The TX2 is released by lifting the center tab on the ratchet, which is tan and marked lift to open. Place your finger in the tab recess and lift up and back to release. Thanks for watching our TX2 product video. For more information on our hemorrhage control products, please go to www.revmedics.com.